Welcome back, everybody. All right, it's time for our activity. Today's activity, actually for this week, the activity is called I See, I See. So if you were with me last year, you have done this activity before. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to say to you, I see, I see. And then you're going to reply, what do you see? After you say that, I'm going to tell you what I see, and you're going to act that out. Okay? All right, so here we go. I see, I see. I see happy children walking quickly with big smiles on their faces. So what I should see you doing right now is walking big smiles on your faces. I see, I see. Horses galloping in a field of grass. So if you're not sure how to gallop, keep the same foot in front and your back foot stays behind your front foot. I see, I see. Rabbits jumping over small rocks. So the rabbits, they're jumping over little teeny tiny rocks. I see, I see. Fairies leaping slowly through the air. So if you're not sure what a leap is, a leap is when you start on one foot and you take off on the other. So the fairies are leaping slowly through the air. I see, I see. Butterflies flying gracefully from flower to flower. The butterflies are flying gracefully from flower to flower. I see, I see. Autumn leaves falling to the ground. So I see a bunch of leaves fall to the ground. So you act that out. I see, I see. Bears lumbering slowly through the forest, eating blueberries. I see, I see. Crabs moving sideways at the beach. So if you're not familiar with what a crab walk is, what you do is you go like this, and these crabs are moving sideways. I see, I see. This is our last one. A bunch of Zachary Lane students playing soccer. Oh, you guys are awesome. Okay, friends, that was our activity for week one. Now, we're going to talk about a really, really important word, and that word is trust. So I want you to think about what does trust mean? mean to you? What do you already know about that word? So trust, the definition of trust is a good feeling you get when you know you can rely on someone or something. I want to tell you right now that I am definitely somebody that you can trust. I promise you every week I'm going to come up with some really fun physical activities for you. You can trust me. Okay, friends, so our last thing that we're gonna do, it's a physical challenge, okay? And it is called the get down, get up. So what you're gonna need for this is, don't do this on a wood floor. Um, right now I'm in like my little fitness room in my house and the floor is really hard. So that's why I just grabbed a mat because otherwise, trust me, this would hurt. So if you have an area in your house that has carpet, that would be great. Just you want to be in a soft area for this physical challenge that we're about to do. Now, I did this with my husband and my son the other day because I always like to try out things to make sure they're fun before I teach them to you. And we had a great time. 
meaning it made us laugh really, really hard. So here's what you're going to do. I'm going to explain it, and then I'm going to play music, and I'll do it while you're doing it. So the first thing you have to know is that you have to keep your hands just like this behind your back, okay? And then we have to get down and lay on our stomach, and then we turn a 360, okay, all the way around, back to our stomach, and then we gotta get up, all while keeping our hands behind our backs, okay? So I'm gonna play a little music for us. I found the perfect song that goes with this. So let me find it here again. Okay, oh, wouldn't you know, right now I cannot find it. I was gonna do the, uh, Get down, get up, 